Hello everyone, my name is Jackie. In this video, I'm showing you guys how to record your gameplay with GeForce Experience or NVIDIA Shadow Play as you would say. So let's get started. First, open your NVIDIA GeForce Experience in the system tray. If you just launch this for the first time, you need to log into your account first. After you logged in into your account, remove the tick from automatic optimize newly added games and then press skip. Before we start messing around with all the settings, we need to make sure we use the latest NVIDIA driver. Go to Drivers tab. Now it's confirmed that we have the latest driver. Go to Settings on the top right. You can enable this experimental features if you want. Keep this in-game overlay enabled. And make sure Whisper Mode is off, as well as Battery Boost. Don't forget to disable all of this notifications and automatic updates. Now go to in-game overlay settings. You can connect your social media accounts here or just leave it like that. For the layout, select performance and then select off if you already have MSI Afterburner. For the keyboard shortcuts, I like to use alternate plus X instead of Z to avoid discrepancy with MSI Afterburner. To undefine any hotkeys, click on it and then press delete on your keyboard. For the recording, I like to use home key. You can set it to whatever you want. Inside the recording section, make sure both of these locations are put on an SSD for smooth recording and avoid any lag. For broadcast live, you can disable it if you don't want any broadcast here. And then disable automatic highlights feature as well. For photo mode or NVIDIA Ansel, just leave enabled. For audio recording, just leave the way it is. Now this is the point of this video, make sure you drag the length to the maximum. For the resolution, you can set it to 1080p with 60fps. That's a good balance between performance and quality. For the bitrate, I recommend 15 Mbps is the best here. It's already good enough if you just want to post it on YouTube. For notifications, I recommend you disable all of these. And lastly, just leave it at default. Press done. Before we finish, don't forget to disable the microphone here if you don't use any. That's it. I hope this video was helpful, and if it does, feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.